Right now, a lot of recent high school graduates are facing the tough decision of whether it's worth it to take on tens of thousands of dollars in debt to attend college during a pandemic. Joining us right now, 13 Action News anchor Ross DiMatte in studio with uh, why this might actually be a good decision to make. Ross? Yeah, Kalina, so college loans are just one way of building credit, but the irony of building credit is that you have to take on more debt in order to do it. And really no one wants to be taking on additional debt, especially right now during this pandemic. I spoke with one credit expert who says there are some simple money moves that you can make right now to set up your kids for future financial success. As a kid, building credit is far from your first priority, but it could open or close a lot of doors down the road. Good credit can make things easier for you in the future, whether it's securing loans and credit cards with better terms and rates, but it might even help like your ability to land a job or rent a desirable apartment. Credit expert Nathan Grant says although you can't even open your own bank account until you're 18, you can start teaching your kids about credit long before that perhaps with a prepaid card. Many of those allow for monthly direct deposits, so you could have their allowance loaded directly into their card, and that could, at an early age, give them a way to understand uh, you know, budgeting and you know, using a card that has a limit. Then, as they approach adulthood, maybe you make them an authorized user on your credit card. Even if you're not ready to let them make purchases and payments on your card, Grant says just making them an authorized user will help them build credit. Most issuers report the account's activity in the authorized user's name, whether or not they're actually using the account. So you can add them as a user and not give them access, and it'll hopefully build their credit up right out the gate. Even when they are ready for their own card, you shouldn't just pick the shiniest piece of plastic. Grant says a secured credit card could be a safer option for someone with little or no credit. It uses a refundable security deposit that you fund yourself um, to fund the account's credit limit upon approval. So it's there's less risk on the issuer's part. And if you're considering paying for college with credit, that's a decision Grant can't make for you. But if you decide to take a gap year, he says the goal should be to pay off any existing debts and save for the future. And if you do go to college, the best rule of thumb on top of just general responsible use is just try not to use your credit card for purchases that you know that you won't be able to pay off before that monthly due date. Not spending beyond your means, that's going to be more valuable in your college years than ever. Easier said than done, I know. And that is really just the beginning. We only give you advice on the smartest ways to take on debt. We've got some more ways to help boost your credit score. Just head to ktnv.com slash rebound. Live in the studio, Ross DiMatteo, 13 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you so much.